everyone, Amber from The Vault here. Welcome back to more Amnesia The Bunker. We're gonna go ahead and jump right back in, but before we do, I just wanna give you a quick headphone warning. There's probably gonna be a lot of screaming, a lot of giggling, and lots of fear singing in here. So let's go ahead and jump right back in. I'm not really worried about fuel right now, but there is a little part of me that's like, should I clear out my inventory? Oh boy, I don't think so. And get more fuel. We've been finding so much that I'm like really not worried about it but what I am worried about is not getting this pouch because I think that I think that it's worth going and getting it also we've been in this area so much now that I know exactly where it is we've already set off the the uh trap down here so I'm not like super concerned about coming into this area again although I feel like this game is tricky enough that they just might get me killed in here because I'm too confident <laughs> Because I know the area too well, I might die. Okay, so it's right in here. So if you remember, we came in here and we were... There he is, I hear him coming. Yep. Interesting. The other problem is that there's rats right the fuck there, and I'm pretty sure they are also on top of somebody who probably has a dog tag. So this is what I'm thinking we should do. Um, I don't have the lighter on me. Of course I don't have the lighter on me. Why would I have the lighter on me? Um, We did just save. Maybe what we should do. We just saved. So maybe what we should do is come back out here. And it's actually further down here, I believe, the pantry. We might be able to get a piece of meat and spook them off. It never occurred to me to check that body for a damn uh, dog tag, and I don't know why it didn't until right now. Okay, got a piece of meat. That's cool. Oh, I guess I didn't get a piece of meat. Did I just think I got a piece of meat? Okay, now I know I have one. All right, there we go. He definitely sounds like he is out and about. The thing is, he could really appear from anywhere. Alright. I never thought about checking this guy for a dog tag. But I guess it would make sense. Oh, you don't have one? Really? I wasted my time? Well, that sucks. Okay. Ooh, hi, Ratty. Ratty McRatterson. All right. Well, we got the extra space bag, or the extra space. <laughs> the extra pocket bag, so we have more space. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so that's what matters right now. We're going to go back. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to save it again, just because I don't want to have to do this again. And then we are ready to actually go into the prison. And again, apologies, but I do know that there happens to be an extra bag in the prison. Or not an extra bag, the bolt cutters are in the prison. There we go, that's what I'm trying to say. So I am kind of excited about seeing what the bolt cutters, how we're gonna get the bolt cutters. I also saw something else happen when I went into the prison. Um, I'm not gonna talk about that until we get there, but I was like, ah, shit, I shouldn't have got in here. <laughs> I gotta ruin some shit for myself. But that's okay. It could be worse. It could be worse. Okay. Do -do -do. If we're going to have this petrol bomb on us, we really need to have that. Um, maybe. I'm not sure how much I should take into the prison with me, though, because honestly, it's not like the. Uh, it's not like we need a lot for the prison. I guess I could just put more fuel in here. I don't really think it's a bad idea necessarily. And then I'm going to save it and I will start re recording over again. So sorry, there's going to be a cut in the video, but that's how I've been keeping track of what 15 minutes is, which I have to say, I think it lasts. Okay, there we go. We're done. We're going to the prison. I am going to close this door. Um, I don't know. I feel like we're, we're hanging out this way, so it's probably not worth having that door open. Um, I don't know. I don't know if the beast is really going to come after us much. Uh, let's check. So we have the arsenal code. Do I remember where the arsenal is? I actually don't. I think that's another area we haven't gone into yet. 
Here's a photo, though. I don't think we've seen this one. Um, oh, okay. Are they chilling out or is, are they scared of something? It's hard to tell. Okay. So here's Jobert's journal. Patrol report, 10th of July, 1916. Odd occurrences last night. Uh, is that Soledad? I actually don't know SDT. I'm, I'm going to assume that, but uh, Lambert thought dead after his patrol on the 8th, returned to the barracks in fine health. He carried with him Clement. Oh, wait, he, fine health. He definitely wasn't in fine health. Okay. Uh, severely wounded from an explosion. Lambert reports the following. That midday through his patrol on the 8th, he fell into a deep crater and was unable to escape. Clement, his close friend, snuck out after him last night, located him in the crater, and carried him out. They were spotted in the ensuing attack. Clement was injured by an explosion. It fell on Lambert to carry him back. Very odd that Lambert was neither injured from the fall nor the explosion, and that he ended up saving the man who came to save him. But battlefield luck is an odd thing. In every life, fate winds blow erratic. Judging by Lambert's description, the crater he fell into seems to have been located very close to the Roman tunnels we unearthed. It may have been a result of work down there. Recommend a future patrol investigate future patrol investigate and make sure that we have not opened up a back door into our own bunker. I have a feeling that we need to know that for some reason. Okay. Um, let's see. I think we read that one, and we also read that one, but we haven't read Kazel. Kazel, maybe? My friend, after the tunnel sabotage, there are increasing security everywhere. I've been commanded to lock the door to communications. But between you and me, I'm going to keep a copy of the key in my bunk in the barracks. You never know when such a thing might come in handy. I see. Okay, so this right here was where we would find the key for the communications room when we didn't pick it up in that room. Got it. Okay. The reason I didn't realize that is because I'm going to be honest, I explored the rooms before I picked anything up. So didn't notice that. Um, let's see. Is the arsenal over here? Let's take a peek. Yes, that is the arsenal. Okay. That is what we have the code for. Did it get wiggly there for a second or did i imagine that so maybe i should wait on the prison maybe we don't need to go to the prison i guess in my mind i was thinking we would need to go into the prison because it was next to the place we were going before but also now that i know that the bull cutter is in there i feel like we should go into the prison okay i i feel like this should be the next place we go all right here we go Just a nice little glitch there. And then here we go. Oh, before we do anything, actually, I'm thinking about this right now. Let me get some bullets. Oh, yeah, we got five shots. Fuck. Holy shit. Wow. I might, I might become a six bullet, uh... Six bullet bitch by the end of this. Ooh. I'm gonna actually put this away though. I don't really need it. I am like fully making sure <laughs> that these don't open now. <laughs> Cause you saw what happened last time. I thought a door was locked and it very much wasn't. Ah, oh, there, did you see it? Ah, <laughs> there's someone down here. That's, that's what I learned. I learned that there was someone down here. Still alive. And I'm gonna be honest. It fucked me up. There is someone still alive down here. Um, I learned that when I was doing my, my picture search. Uh, like I said, not something I meant to learn. And I have no idea what he's saying. I, I don't speak German at all. But he keeps saying soldat, and I think that might mean soldier is what I'm guessing. But he knows we're here and look, there's there's the bolt cutters. Okay. I'm actually pretty nervous about this. 
I have a bad feeling about it. Um, because there's multiple. Yeah, that. Okay. Oh, I think there's a thing in there. I don't know what he's saying, but I'm I'm gonna be fully honest that I googled what is the soldier saying because I don't speak German. Uh, and he sounds so upset. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to. Or excuse me, I meant to do this. Um, I'm gonna have to blow open that door or. Maybe I can use this, the hissing flame. Let's just try this. We've recently saved. Will that maybe attract the beast? Will he come open the door for me? Probably not. Nope, he's not coming to open the door for me. I got nothing else to like really blow it up with. I guess that's what you're supposed to be for. I'm not really worried about wasting a flare. The only thing I'm worried about is getting attacked by this thing. Nine, nine. I feel like I should get out of here quickly. Right? It's more likely going to come from that way. Right? <laughs> I'm hoping so. Also, why is it... Why did it leave that guy there? Why did it kill every other prisoner except that guy? It's definitely back there. Okay. Ooh. So we're just going to stay here for a bit. We might die. That's okay. If we do, we'll learn something from it. It legitimately seems to be keeping him alive. Unless that was him yelling because he died? Did it... Did it kill him? No, he's still alive. Okay, guys, that's really sus. Why would it be keeping him alive? I just, I don't understand. What benefit would it be to the beast to keep that man alive because like oh please tell me we have the wrench yes okay what benefit would it be to him because unless he knows that i'm coming which i'm you know i'm gonna say that that feels like the only thing it would be it would be bait like is it maybe bait If he's bait, then I don't know, maybe I should be ready to bite the thing off. Okay. Let's see, what's this? Um Oh. Just are they working in there? It looks like they're just working. Maybe I should hide? Don't come in. <laughs> Just stay out there. Uh, there's another flare in here and another note. I, I feel like, I'm going to be honest, I feel like it's a setup. Um, oh boy. Okay. Update on prisoner 73014. With the rest of the cells empty, I've begun a program of aggressive interrogation. I hope the screams have not kept you awake. Oh God, that makes me uncomfortable. He continues to insist that he is a common soldier, that his rank was accidentally torn from his uniform, and that he knows nothing of the Second Army's plans. I don't believe him. I've ordered rations for the next three days. When 
When next he's fed, I assume his gratitude will loosen his tongue. I'm so uncomfortable. Uh, a final note, this work would be much easier if the officer wine rations were loosened. Because it's easier to abuse people when you are drunk. Um, okay. I feel like this is probably a setup. And I feel like... Okay, look, here's the thing. I've played enough video games in my life to know that, A, I should probably figure out which one of the cells had the hole in it, and I should close that cell. Let's let's do that. Um, okay, I think that that probably lines up to these. So there's one of these that's open that has a hole in it. I mean, they all have a hole in them, but... Okay, so... One, two on the left side, and three on the right side. Two on the left, three on the right. Okay, this is what I'm wondering. I, I don't think we can talk to that guy. I'm doubting that we're, we're going to talk to him or anything, but maybe he can be, like, useful. And But I'm, I'm afraid that there's probably, like I said, I've played enough video games to know that there's probably some reason we want to keep this guy alive. And I'm wondering if it's going to happen that he's going to die. So the way that this is set up, I'm just, I'm talking about design here, guys. I have a feeling the monster's going to appear in front of us. And I'm wondering, this looks like it's hollow. I bet you we're going to have to scare it off. So I might want to be ready to run. Um, oh, that one says it's closed, but we can't close it. I see. So it's stuck. Yeah, I bet you that's what's going to happen. Nine less a zoo? I bet you it's coming. There we go, there we go, there we go! Oh shit, is it coming in here? Because I'm going to be honest. I didn't shoot you so you wouldn't leave. Okay, okay. I'm Hemel. Who's... Who's Hemel? Oh, I can't talk to him. Oh god, I think it came out again. Oh shit, I think it did get him. It got him, didn't it? Oh, it got him for sure. Okay. Well, I want to say... <laughs> we couldn't talk to him. Um... Oh, that's going to trigger him every time. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I wonder. Is he going to try to come in? Oh, that is... That is interesting. I think I'm about to die. Yeah, look at this. Okay, I'm willing to die. Because this is interesting. So he just knows that the grate's off. Well, hot damn. <laughs> I guess I'm okay with dying there because he knew the grate was off. That was actually kind of cool. <laughs> All right. Well.